Hello, my name is Adrian Tyndall. I'm an area sales manager for Bower in the UK and Ireland. We are here today at an installation in the UK of the BIU dryer, which is a fan separator dryer. This is a, an 800 cow dairy farm in the UK. They also have a biogas plant and they are using green bedding. And I will now walk you through the process of producing very dry green bedding. Now to start the process we are using the fan green bedding separator. We are separating to 35-36% dry matter running roughly 20 minutes every hour. It is fed from the reception pit at the end of the dairy cow cubicles into the buffer tank which then feeds the separator. So we regulate the dry matter coming from the green bedding separator of the green bedding material into the drum through the weight system so the more weight you you apply on these arms the more pressure is on the painted mouthpiece we also regulate the dry matter by the speed of the auger which on this particular model is currently running at 25 hertz so this is the gearbox and motor for the fan green bedding separator we are powered by an 11 kw motor and heavy duty gearbox which allows us to get the pressure required to get the high dry matters this is the input end of the BIU dryer. The separated solids from the separator fall down this chute through our door system and into the drum itself and are worked forward towards the front of the drum with the rotation of the drum. The drum is currently set at 30 hertz, which gives us approximately two and a half minutes per revolution of the drum. We can double that or we can half it, we can, it's variable. This is the motor that powers the drum. There are four of these, one in each corner. They are one and a half kilowatt friction drive motors and they are what is turning the drum. This is the exhaust fan. It's one kilowatt motor. This exhaust fan makes sure there's a constant circulation of air through the drum at the same speed as at the inlet. This is a chimney, an oversized chimney, which allows the large particles to drop to the bottom into the collection bin rather than being blown out on the chimney. Okay, so here we have the heat exchanger and the heat exchanger fan. We're taking hot water from the CHP engine in the biogas plant at approximately 79 degrees C. The fan we run at anywhere between 20 and 70 hertz, depending on the air volume that we want to put through the dryer. Currently we're running it at 55 hertz, which gives us about 2,800 cubic meters an hour of hot air. So this is the where the hot air enters the drum at the front and this is where the bedding material exits the drum. Here we have the controls that control the drum speed, the water speed and the fans. Here we have the two frigs who drives for the fans. This is for the heat exchanger fan and the variable exhaust fan. Here we are with the finished product. This has now been through the, the dryer with a retention time of approximately eight hours. We're at 61, 62% dry matter. It's a little bit too dry for dairy cow cubicles because it is a little bit dusty. Um, we're producing approximately three to four cubic meters per hour. That is running the separator 30 minutes on, 30 minutes off. So output can be a, a lot higher. So here we are in the cubicle house. The cows in here are on mattresses. The bedding's applied every one to two days as a sort of substitute, but in much greater volumes, as you can see. It's applied using a standard sawdust dispenser. So green bedding does not affect your cell count, your udder health, your mastitis, in any way, as long as it is dry, as it is here. It is permitted for use by DEFRA, and it comes under the Red Tractor Scheme. <laughs> 